you are probably watching this, my regular viewers, on Wednesday, the, what will the date be? Wednesday, 19th of December. One year since my most viewed video was uploaded, Mila bag video. And seeing as my knowledge has improved, my stock has improved, and genuinely I know more about Mila's. I thought why not remake it today, because the last one was a bit shaky. So, oh, what's wrong, Shark? Yuki? The dog's here. So, in this video, I'm going to cover some of the Mila's. Most of the, well, the two most common bag types. Why you don't use pattern bags. How to fit filters of various kinds. How to tell which bag you need to use. What good prices are available. And just generally Mila bag chit chat. So, Mila bags. Well, first of all, why use genuine Mila bags? Well, of course, they're made by the manufacturers themselves. They're kind of designed for your hoover. So, you know, it's kind of like, usually what manufacturers recommend is the best. But anyway, here's a pattern bag. A pattern is just another word for generic. You see, it's very thin. This doors pretty much snapping the gasket here is very thin as well and generally the material in it is very thin so one of the biggest problems as somebody who repairs Mila's is people use cheap bags they're too thin and the machines leak dust everywhere and Mila motors aren't designed to cope with strenuous use you'll see this is a this is an FGM pattern bag this is a genuine Mila FGM. See the difference is night and day really. Because this bag holder is strong. Got a good gasket. The top is well made. It's just generally, I find with pattern bags, they're a lot harder to take out. Which, you know, I'll demonstrate that later on. You'll also see this Mila bag has a clever design where it has these strips inside. So, I used to think this was a gimmick as well until I tried it. When you use these bags, you can actually look inside and you'll see the little strips moving with the air. And what those strips do is, well, not only do if you, shuck, if you suck up something sharp, it will bounce off and not rip the bag, but they also kind of dis distribute the dust evenly. So actually, you get more life out of your bag. So these do look quite small on the surface, but they do really open up. They're what they call Mila's 3D bags, because they kind of are 3D. Um, this bag is not a 3D bag, though I have noticed the non-genuine 3D bags are available. Which is a bit depressing. So, at the end of this video I'll take you on a brief history lesson of Mila's previous and current bags. But, just now we're going to focus on stuff that's probably useful to you. So this is my Mila, used daily. I have already put a new bag in it because the original one was kind of mock it. Um, and if you don't know what that means, it means dirty or disgusting. So... What do we see here? Now, for some reason, people cannot get this right and it's really simple. So I'm going to remove this bag, right? So say I get a new bag, pretend this is a new bag, well it is a new bag, and I fit it. Some people can't quite grasp the concept of fitting a Mila bag. So you see people that don't slot them in. So that the top is getting forced down and when it goes down, you'll see the bag does not seal up. You get people that, well actually for reference, when it goes in it snaps in properly. So you also get people that with this bag holder they maybe tuck it under here and then put the bag in. So again the bag does not seal up with the fill tube so that basically means the dust will just settle in this bag compartment and go into your motor. So Mila bags um, holders are never designed to go past those little notches. That is a comfortable position for the bag holder. That is not. Now, if you do happen to rip your bag holder out, it happens a lot, and they're not the most secure thing ever, so you might rip your bag holder out, throw the bag away, and bring your new bag. You have nowhere to fit it. Then... People will start doing all kinds of crazy things. They'll start attaching them up here, but then all that happens is it'll just fall down. They try and balance them in here. It doesn't work. You need the bag holder. I'm sorry. But there's many folk on eBay that 
sell used parts or new parts and bag holders are abundant so anyway that's fine now I do need to change the filter in here so I'll show you this is the pre-motor filter now I've actually upgraded the filter but ignore that for a minute if I put the standard filter back in here I will tell you of another thing people don't do properly and that you should you should really be careful of because it can be quite bad for your vacuum now this when you get a box of genuine mealer bags let's open one now this is sealed you open it up Ooh, what's in here we have four genuine mealer bags approximately a year supply all nice and neatly laid in you will get a filter sheet and this kind of filter strip as well and you'll also get a box to keep the rest of your bags in now you get a coarse kind of if you imagine a kitchen sponge filter and you get a kind of foamy filter now people don't think to say well which filter goes where where how about i take the original ones out and compare them and see which is which people don't do that they'll just take this foam one and think right um, I think we'll just plonk that in here. They'll cut it and put it in there. When all that's designed to go before the motor is a thinner filter, just to catch these bags kind of shed fuzz because they're made of obviously cloth, so that catches the fuzz. So people will put these thick filters that are designed to filter the post motor air, the kind of air that's got microscopic dust in it. So they'll put that in there and it just strains the motor because the motor is not designed to pull through this thick material. Similarly, they'll take this filter. Now, in certain boxes of Miele bags, it comes in a smaller size. They'll think, right, we'll just stick this one after the motor. You'll see it does not fit. Look at all that excess space. So that air wouldn't get filtered at all. So if you've got allergy sufferers, or even then, it's going to be blowing a lot of dust out. Even the carbon the motor makes will not be filtered by that. So you have to make sure you get it right. The foamy, kind of thicker filter goes after the motor. Air clean filter. The pre-motor filter here goes like the kind of coarse one goes behind the bag. To fit it, well, the easiest way is to take your old one, put it on your new filter, um, <coughs> excuse me, put it on your new filter sheet and cut round. Or, if your meal is a few years old, look at the model numbers listed. I'm just going to get a sip of water. So, <coughs> excuse me, I saw that talking. <coughs> so, um, I don't know what I was talking about. Filters. So, although the new Mila's names, Complete C3, for example, haven't been put on this filter sheet yet it's still got the old names you can just take your old filter place it around the cut lines and see where it matches now with gn bags um a certain mila machine that uses gn bags has a bigger filter so the filter is that size that's why you get this kind of big sheet that you can actually get two standard filters out of if you look this is a standard mila size one two so you get quite lucky there the machines that use this filter now there are some gn machines that use this filter but this size of filter comes with the fgm red bags now reason for that is there isn't an fgm machine that uses as big a filter that's the biggest size an fgm machine uses now i'll get onto that later so if you have 500 700 600 or 800 you would cut along here now again mila haven't produced the 500 body or 700 bodies for a long time so if you've got one of them you've had the mealer for a few years but the reason I want to cover all these old mealers is that people still get given mealers to say wedding presents from aunties or something or people move house and their ma says oh well here's my old mealy hoover because I just upgraded have it and the thing is people get these old mealers they're just the same as new mealers you've got to look after them and they haven't a scooby what they're doing so it's always best to research before you use your vacuum now another mistake i've seen is people think well you get all this filter material so surely you use both of them 
and they'll put both filters in there. Again, that just strains your motor. So again, that's the cage for a standard air clean filter. Now your Mila could have something like this fitted. Active air clean, or it could be a HEPA. They slot in there, they're kind of like a, a one piece filter. These are a kind of single use filter, if you like. So kind of once you use the filter past its best, basically till it gets past its best, you throw the whole thing away. There isn't a filter to take out and put a new one in. This is a whole unit. This particular one is active air clean. It's got charcoal in it that reduces odours. It works so well. But here we are going on to another problem that happens with Mila's. Now this is, it's an older packaging, it's an older filter, which is why I'm keeping it new, but the newer Mila's are the same idea. There is two types of Mila filter. Can you see a difference? Well there is. This one here has a clip on it, this one does not. Now this is suited for the Mila upright, the older Mila cylinders, this one is suited for the newer ones. You'll see it just slots in beautifully. If you try and fit one of these ones, it won't happen. You might think, well, it's, it's good enough. Well, your bag door won't close. I will show you which Mila's that is suited for later on. So again, if you've got one of these, you just slot it in. Now, the newest version of these has a little, what they call, time strip. So when you get that, make sure you push that in. It flows along this kind of oil-based liquid and it tells you when it needs to replace. These last about a year. You can squeeze a bit longer out of them if you don't use your Mila that much. But really a year and they're past their best. So those cost about 15 or 20 pounds to replace, which is a, an investment. But if you've got an active air clean filter with the charcoal in it, it reduces odours. So if you've got dogs and you're putting a new Mila bag in once a month maybe, because after a month they're not full, they just smell, the charcoal absorbs that. Now Mila at mila.co.uk have a fantastic offer on just now and it's Mila Cat and Dog XL Packs. Now that is equivalent to two boxes of bags but with one of these active air clean filters in it. And that's £23 free postage. Now that is a great deal. These filters usually cost about 15 to 20 pound on their own, plus eight dust bags, two boxes worth, can set you back about 15, 20 quid. If you don't have an air clean, an active air clean filter, you don't have pets or smells, you can get XL packs, kind of like what I have here. This is a cat and dog XL pack without the cat and dog filter because I've already used it. Those are £19, again, good value. If you look on Amazon, they've got GN bags for £23. Thanks, I live in Edinburgh. I don't live in Edinburgh. And that's an XXL pack, which is 16 bags. Again, just buy what you think you need. That's a pretty good price for about four boxes worth. Anyway, so fit in the bag, very easy. They just slot in. Then you kind of just tuck the bag in. The lid closes. It's simple. Filters showed you how to do them. Now, I'm going to show you some other Mila's. But first I'm going to show you some of Mila's different bag types. Now, these are FGM bags in particular. But uh, I could look at, I'll look at GN in a minute. Now, a little bit of a design flaw Mila had when they first started kind of producing these high clean bags is um now the reason i'm telling you this is some people either don't use their milas for a long time and they've bought bags and they've been sitting there for a long time or they go on ebay and see somebody who's obviously broke their mila but they're selling the bags cheap and you know they can amalgamate many types of bags but if you see bags with these kind of slits in them here um, these are the original style of high clean bags. Now, remember earlier, if you're still watching, I told you about the cloth strips that are in these bags? Well, they work fine. They f fill the bag evenly. Previously, Mila, when they first designed them, put these grey plastic strips in the bag. 
And basically what was happening is people would fit the bag, open it out like that so that it had capacity, but the plastic would cause the bag to kind of close on itself. So people were getting a fistful of dust in their bag, it was backing it in their hose, and they'd have no suction, and they'd have to change the bag after maybe one use. But Mila quickly rectified it. On the next style of high clean bags, you'll see there are no little slits. If you've got these type of bags, they're fine. They're actually slightly bigger than the newer style, um, in a few in a sort of way. So they can be quite good. But the reason the Mila bags are smaller now, the, the way I see it, is Mila are getting, the Mila machines are kind of getting more and more compact. And people want compact vacuums and not got space for such a big bag. So I guess that's what consumers want, so. Oh well. Again, we looked at our pattern FGM bag. It's thin, no use, so don't use pattern bags. I've had countless Mila's that are broken due to bags. In fact, these two here were broken, but I fixed them, don't worry. They were broken due to pattern bags. So let's look at, this video's gone on for far too long. Let's look at this old style Mila. Mila 500 series in particular. We're going to open it up. We're going to see some similarities, but also some differences to our modern Mila. First, you'll notice on the previous Mila, it had a color coded bag holder. In fact, I'll show you this other Mila. It uses the red bag, so it has a red bag holder, so you know which bag to buy. This one does not. It just has a black holder, and it doesn't tell you, like, it doesn't have any letters on the bag holder to tell you which bag to use. So, when you need to figure out what bag to use, how do you do it? Well, on these older style Mila's, they usually say their name on the top here, S512. You can look under here, again, S512, or you can even punch your serial number into Google and put bags after it, and you'll get bags. And if none of those work, you could, it's not clear which bag to use. There are so many other vacuum collectors on Facebook, Instagram, and if you don't know, just send them a photo of your Mila. Hi, which bag does this use? We collectors do not mind helping people out. We love it when people ask us for advice. So... Again, that's something you can do. Now, I talked about the FGM filters being a different size to the GN filters, the big square. The reason is because quite a few FGM machines use a filter like this. So this whole thing, you don't have to cut it. And that's the kind of cool thing about certain mealers. You don't have to cut the filters, so there's no confusion. Um, a common mistake, though, is that people will see this air clean filter and they'll just cut it without thinking, so it's too small. Again, you need the full surface area for pretty much most Mila cleaners, because you need to filter the dust out. Again, slight difference here with the other um, type of filter holder I showed you. You'll see it's in two halves, and it opens up in the middle. Older style ones have this clip that opens up, so that actually there isn't um, two halves, it's just one piece. Now, if you're going to fit an upgraded filter to this Mila, maybe a HEPA filter or a, an active filter, that's very easy again. Now, this machi Mila machine in particular uses the old style filter. You just slide it along, if I could see what I'm doing, slide it along until it slots in, then you just push it down. Now, this one's actually slightly distorted because the previous owner of this filter tried to fit it into the wrong Mila. So it's a wee bit distorted, but that doesn't matter because it's just a collection piece of mine. So anyway, if you're fitting an air clean filter to one of these, that's simple. You just slot the filter in, then you just push. I don't know if you can really see that, but there's these little clips that just click in. You just kind of push them in. Like that, lift it up, slide your filter in. Close that down. Again, this has got an old style FGM bag in it. Now, what, another reason they've changed the bags is to make them more efficient for the low wattage Mila machines. So, new Mila's have to be under a certain amount of wattage due to European Union legislations. If your box says 3D efficiency on it, um, and this one doesn't say it, but it says 20% more efficiency, that means you have the new style ones. 
Now, the old style ones are fine. Maybe in a low wattage machine you would see a difference. But in these older solid mealers, you have no problem using them. So if you've got any left, don't worry. Uh, and now to look at our final mealer I wanted to show you. Again, very much very similar to the other two in many ways. You, But this one is called the S4000 um, series of mealer. And the bag holder is a bit different. This bag goes in backwards compared to other Mila's. So if that's thrown you, it just goes in the same. Again, filter, the same as what I've already showed you. And this is actually another type of filter cage again. It's in two halves. So the bottom half stays on the machine. The top half opens up. Again, you want to fit a helper filter. It's the same kind of principle. So just stick that bag in here. Like so. Now, after all that waffling, you should be good to use your Mila. Now, for my fellow collectors and Mila enthusiasts, I'm just going to do a bit, of a bit of a comparison on some of these different Mila bags that they've used over the years. This is the very first style of cloth bag, the intensive clean, and look at how huge it is. Mila's used to be so much bigger, so the bags could be so much bigger. And you look at that, it's huge. You couldn't use these in a modern Mila, they're too big. They actually fold over and would overheat the motor. Now, why did they change the bags? Well, they weren't very efficient. You'll see here where the gasket is, there isn't a gasket. It's just some bag material stitched in a way to form a gasket. It's not a very good gasket. Also, the bag kind of collar wasn't very well made. Um, when you do use these in a mila, they tend to chip. Um, it does have automatic closure, like all the other mila's, but it works differently. Whenever you pull the bag out, it pulls this shutter down. Again, it's just not a very smooth, like, well-made mechanism. So that's sort of why, in a while, they changed them. But again, to talk about cost cutting, these older bags were much bigger and they came five in a box. The next generation, High Clean, came four to a box. Again, they're quite large. Again, they all come with two filters. They're quite large. I've already showed you a High Clean bag this video. They're large. They filter well. Oh, here's one I can show you. Again, quite big. You can get away with using these in modern mealers. They're not too big at all. And Again, a very well-made bag. They really fixed all the issues on this bag. And then, our latest generation of bags. High clean, 3D efficiency. Well, again, I showed you. They're a bit smaller. Again, this is an FGM one. Pretend it's a blue one. They don't kind of open up as much, but they filter so well. They make your machine last. It's well worth the price, these genuine bags. If you made it to here, well done. You are now fully educated in how to use your Mila properly. Thank you for watching. Mila owners, tell me, tell me about your Mila. Do you use genuine bags or do you use knockoffs? Do you have any issues? What do you think about bags? Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.